So Wolves 3, Reading nil. I'm not going to say back to our best today. I don't think that it's a case of that anymore. We don't have to be at our best. We just need to make sure that we are winning games. And this last week has really... It's probably been the... It's been a tough week. We've had Villa away, we've had Leeds away, and we've had Reading at home. A team fighting for rele you know against relegation. So it's always going to be a tough game at home. But they almost set up to just not lose massively. And that, you know... That played into our hands today. Uh, I thought Reading were a really dismal team. They didn't create any chances at all, like we've seen lots of teams do down here, but they didn't have any intent at all to provide any sort of attacking threat to us. And they couldn't get the ball up to Bob Varson or anything. I think that's down to the change that we saw in midfield today from Nuno. Bringing in Sace was an inspired change, I think. And I had... A very good game against Leeds, then a very average game against Villa, and he dropped out of the team. And Sice, I think, has been one of the most underrated players of this season. The protection that he's provided the back three today has enabled players like Doherty and Douglas to bomb forward a little bit more, and Neves as well to be as great distributing as he has been all season. And then to come on to Benikafobi, who has been... A figure of discussion over the last month or so, or six weeks since he's been back at the club. But I think today proved that if he gets a start, and if Costa gets to the byline and bringing it back into the centre circle behind the fullback, he's going to score goals. And I think from the rest of the season, now there's nine games to go, Benikafobi has to start the majority of those games, I think. The difference between him starting and Bonatini coming on, there was no comparison. Benikafobi. Needs minutes. He's got two goals now in three games. You know, you need strikers at this point of the season who are going to get you ugly goals, who are going to score you one nils and two nils. And that's what he's going to provide us. And I really, really am pleased that he's done well today and hope that he can play again on Saturday against Burton and maybe grab a couple more. I've got to mention Matt Doherty today. I've been very, very critical of him this season, where others have been gushing with praise for him. I thought he was very, very good. Uh, he's had good spells, but he seems to love playing against Reading. That's three goals in the two games we've had this season. His first goal, in the right place at the right time, uh, getting the ball in the box and it bouncing around, things like that can happen. And we've seen in the last couple of games a bit of a lack of directness into the box. And, you know, great for Doherty to pop up a little header like that to make it 1-0. <clears throat> and then we controlled the game in the second half and then I've talked about a Phobie's goal already. And then... A great finish from Doherty for his, his second goal. And then, you know, a little bit of movement around and Doherty driving into the box and having a shot. And I think that's what he should have been doing all season, really. The positions he's found himself in from the balls that Neves has put over. He's found himself so many times darting into the box but not shooting. I really want to see him doing that a lot more for the rest of the season. And I was pleased to see as well Cavaliero taking the... the uh, Corner kicks from the right-hand side. I think we always need to be taking in-swinging corners. Douglas has shown all season that when that happens, it really is a threat. And for most teams, corners are not a threat at all. So that's something that we've got above other teams. <clears throat> a little bit of a worry to see Jota going off. Uh, look to me, not of you know from where I sit, he was walking off towards me, obviously. It looks as if he's twisted his ankle or something, so hopefully... I mean, it's not the end of the world if he has to miss the Burton game, but providing he's back for key games like Cardiff and Derby and like that uh, near the end of the season. But let me know your thoughts about the game today. I'm not really concerned about any performance. The result is great. We've earned the goal difference back and a little team down the road as well got battered uh, against somebody down the bottom of the table. Very much a case of after the Lord Mayor's show there today. I've, you know, I haven't seen the game myself, but we saw it ourselves. If you think back to the 2006-07 season, we beat the Albion down here and then lost the next, next couple of games because it's hard to keep that intensity up for Villa. So their next nine games are vital now to keep themselves in that hunt for promotion. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the videos that me and Dave as a party have done today for the Talking Wolves channel over on there. There'll be a little button here. See you.